the march. This thing isn't working. Alexa, turn off the march. Remind me to destroy her next time. Ugh. It's time to get out of these work clothes. Thankfully, nobody knows that I'm always wearing yoga pants under there. Thanks, Lululemon, official sponsor of the Empire. You know, after a full day of commanding a Death Star, I need a stiff drink, especially after all of this remote work. Ugh, because sometimes, you know, I just get my stress out by, you know, you know, that thing. But now it's just video calls and it doesn't, the force doesn't really work over, over voice calls. You know, for some reason, I guess Zoom hasn't really learned how to do that. So I've put in a lot of IT tickets and requests with customer service to make sure that that happens. So, you know, it's five o'clock here. So why don't we get Qui-Gon gin and make ourselves a stiff drink? I think I want a martini. So today we are going to make an imperial martini. And because there must always be balance in the force, we are going to make a 50-50 martini, which is 50% gin and 50% vermouth. But what makes it imperial is the addition of that oh so luxurious Aperitif liqueur. Luxardo. A little cherry. You know, cause cherry, they're the color of blood and it's, it's what I like to see, you know? Because if there's enough of that, it means that you're winning. So how about we get started? So, in order to get properly Sith faced, we need to do one and a half. I'm not gonna do one one and a half ounces of gin. I'm using Tanqueray. One and a half ounces of dry vermouth. I'm using Dolan. And we're putting this in our, in our glass, in our mixing glass. And then we're gonna add in two dashes of orange bitters. Whoever took the top off of this thing, they are going to hear from me. So I'm just gonna measure this out here, but essentially two dashes is gonna be, eh, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, between a, let's say a sixth of a teaspoon. And then I'm gonna add in what makes it imperial, which makes it the right way. I'm gonna do one bar spoon of this. And let's fill it with ice. And let's give it a stir. You know, I generally prefer to turn in my lightsaber after hours for a bar spoon because you know, with the right amount of force, you can still get a good old impact out of it. Oh, we gotta make that nice and cold. Nice and cold indeed, just like the expanse of space, which is where I'm putting IT after all of this with that, with that Alexa acting up. Sorry, it's a, ha it's a habit, it's a habit. All right, now let's strain that ice out into a glass. Wow. That truly is beautiful. You won't see a drink like this in any of those rebel scum encampments because I've made sure that they can't get any of these ingredients. But don't worry, as long as you're on an Imperial ship, your access is granted. All right, and then to top it all off, 
We're gonna add a little bit of a citrus peel and another uh, Luxardo cherry to make it perfectly imperial. And there we are. Whoever spilled that, you know what's gonna happen to them. Maybe I'll let IT off this time, but the next time, 